Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I feel a lot better now. No shirt. Am I still keeping the gains? Am I still keeping the gains? Y'all decide. You guys ever just have like diarrhea and when you need to fart, you're scared to fart because you don't know if it's going to be a fart or a shart? That's me right now. Anyway, oh my gosh. <laughs> SOS family, oh my goodness. I missed you guys. Like, I legit, I legit missed you guys. Like, I literally was like, like, I miss the SOS family, like what's been happening, like yo, I've been missing out on a lot of things happening over the internet lately, I've been catching up on a few things, but I just, man, my time went from like being like this to being like this, like no time, like there's literally no time, I literally go to work and I go to sleep and I wake up, go see the sun, go to work, sleep, it's just like, jeez, where to start though, like where to start? You know what, let me start off at my job first because that's probably the least most interesting thing about my life so far. Even though a lot of you guys are happy that I got, I got a job, trust me, the job is just, uh, and no, you know what? I think I could put a video of my job on the screen since they have a YouTube channel. I didn't tell you guys a YouTube channel or my job or my where I work and stuff, but I'll put the video on the screen to show you guys how terrible it is. Like, no, live, no. I literally felt like crying during my last shift. Like I just, oh, I need, it's not a fun job. But you know what, it pays, it's going to pay for a lot of the things that I need so far. But of course I am working on trying to get my personal training and all the other stuff going because man, I cannot stay there. I will go crazy if I stay there. So. Right now, I'm gonna try to finish up my website this weekend. I'm gonna try to set really good prices just so that it's not a burden on, on the, my clients and it's just something that could bring me some income, you know, besides doing, rather than doing these general labor jobs. Like, I just, I'm gonna go crazy if I continue doing this. So, I'm gonna try to focus on building my career, the career that I want instead of just trying to focus on staying at this job. But you know what, I don't wanna to speak too much about the job and stuff, it's just, that's the job, it's bringing, me, it's bringing me some money. Now let's get to the fun stuff. My son, my son, my son, my son, I'm sure like damn near all of you guys or most of you guys have already watched the, the birth vlog. It was a very special moment in my life and I just, I love him man, I really love him. I've been seeing him every single day every single day since he was born I saw him and because of that it's been cutting into my YouTube video creation time but honestly this week I just needed some time to really let things settle in let's let things sink in because this was a huge transition to my life during this all during this entire week I started my I started the job and my son came so everything was just so jumbled up I didn't even I don't remember the last time I worked out I didn't even make a YouTube video. This is the first YouTube video I've, been, I've made since the birth vlog. It's just been crazy so far. So my time has been very uh, uh, restricted. And this is the first time I've actually had some free time to record this video just to update you guys on what's happening. So starting next week, I can't be seeing him every single day because I still have to put in some work into my business. YouTube, personal training, blah, blah, blah. Like I have to put work into it. So I can't see him every morning, which I've been doing. So I'm going to try to, I have to, I really have to schedule my time. And ever since the baby came and, and, and the job started, I really value my time a lot more. And because before, before the baby came, before I started my job, I had free time and a lot, of, and when I had all that free time, I took it for granted so badly. Like I would just procrastinate for weeks on end. I would just not do anything. Now I'm just like, yo, every single hour I have, I want to be putting it towards something, towards progressing. I just can't, I have to just know how to schedule my time and allocate it properly towards the, the, the right things at the right time. You get my point? So I, of course I want to see my son as often as possible, but I just, I cannot see him every single day. But of course I will always try to fit him in because he's my number one priority. I'm working, that's the only reason why I'm really sticking with this job so, so much because I want to provide for him and do the best I can 
while at the same time being able to put time towards my YouTube and my business so I don't have to stay doing this general labor job. But you guys have been showing a lot of love. There's only a couple of trolls. There's been a couple of trolls that I've blocked that's been dissing my baby or dissed me on that video. I just blocked him instantly. No, no reply. I don't even have, now when I see haters, I don't even like have time to reply. Like I literally just hit the block button, done. You're out of my life, done. And then there's been people who've been trying to promote themselves on my baby's birth vlog. I just delete the comment. Like, nah, you're not, you're not promoting, you're not promoting yourself, especially on that video. Seriously. And I just find that absolutely disrespectful. I, I don't block them. I just delete the comment. If they do it again, I'll block them. But honestly, the majority of you guys, like literally, like literally, like 99% of the comments were just supportive. You guys were just, I read every single comment too. Like literally just over 200 comments, which is why I didn't reply to many people. I just, it was so overwhelming. So right here is where I want to say thank you for those of you guys who've been sticking with me through this from the beginning. It's been a crazy journey and it's still not over. It's just beginning. And again, like I just, you guys really like, those, those, those comments were my most favorite comments I've ever read on any of my videos, seriously. Like reading those comments, like the congratulations and everything, like for all of you guys who commented and watched and supported that video, by the way, for just, just to put it out there, that video made absolutely no money. It made absolutely no money. I didn't care because of one of the songs I put in, the last song you guys hear at the end, when you guys get that full shot of the baby for like a good 30 seconds, the song at the end got copyright notice and I knew it was gonna happen, but again, I didn't care to make money off it. I didn't care. I just wanted to share that moment with you guys. And uh, I just thank you guys for the support. It was just, it was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So let's get into YouTube. What's happening with my YouTube channel? What's the update? What's next? Well, I'm working. So right now I'm trying to save up as much money as I possibly can while trying to uh, maintain my sanity working at this job so I'm able to buy a new laptop because I really need a new laptop. Every time I turn on my laptop, it warns me that the battery is about to die. So that, that battery, yo, that laptop has it has a time limit now. It's about to die. So I really need to get that first and foremost. Of course, I'm getting all the other stuff for my for my baby. Like I just got, I just went and got the breast pump. Look how big this is. I got the breast pump, right? I just picked it up uh, and I got the stroller. I got all the other things which killed my money. I am so broke right now. Like I literally have like, I could barely afford bus tickets to get to work right now. So that's how broke I am. But I'm trying to save up and get the new laptop as soon as possible. This camera could still last. This camera is still doing me well. So all I gotta do is just save up and get a new camera, get the new laptop, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm not really worried about that. I just need to continue working and maintain my sanity. Now, what's happening with bodybuilding and calisthenics? Now, a lot of people probably think I'm not credible because I haven't been making progress during the time I started. But again, this time in my life has just been like let's be honest that was not a priority like again i said in the other video people were not getting at me people were saying nothing when i started powerlifting mind you i had no powerlifting experience yet i created a powerlifting program for myself that people said weren't going to work and it worked and nobody said anything there but when i started bodybuilding with calisthenics i wasn't making progress despite everyone knowing that the baby was right around the corner. People were, people are still uh, freaking saying, "Oh, you're not making progress. You're not credible." I told you it wasn't going to work. Like, why, why aren't you saying? Like, why aren't you recognizing that? So again, don't look at me as not credible because before the baby and everything, my progress was going. You guys were seeing my progress. For those of you guys who were here early, you guys were seeing my progress. Just look at it, like. Notice how my progress really slowed down once the baby was coming around, which is obvious. But I just feel like people need to cut me some slack. Like, I'm, I'm stepping up trying to be a father first, right? I'm young, I'm broke, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to prioritize everything. So now, once I get my schedule set in place, I, I'm telling you, like, I dream about working out right now. Like, I really wanna go work out, but after this video, I'm gonna go see my son, right? So again, you guys have to just get me, you know, you have to really realize that I'm trying to become accustomed to my new life. Right, especially with the new life that I brought into the world. And I'm just trying to do my part. So, you know what, I, it, it takes some time. I had to take a week off making videos. I missed you guys, but again, like, I'm just trying to adjust because it, it's probably, having a kid is probably the biggest transition you can ever make in your life. 
You get my point? Some people don't even go to the gym just because they don't feel like it. At least I ha I'm having a kid. If that's not a good excuse, then I don't know what is. So again, I'm not done with bodybuilding with calisthenics, but remember, like, trying to bulk to 170 right now really isn't a priority, but I'll still try to get on it because not only do I want to make the videos for you guys, but I still want to achieve that goal. It's something I wanted to do. I know I could go to the gym and do it easily. Like, come on. But again, I can't go to the gym and record there. Right? If I was able to go to the gym, like just find a gym and record, man, I will be in the gym a lot more. I really need to find a gym this winter so I can record, but again, I, that stuff I have to work on, I'm still working on it, and I'll just try my best to get it, to get it to happen. So any of you guys who live in Toronto who could give me gym, like gyms that I could go to and record, please comment that down below or message me like privately, okay? So in YouTube news, I'm sure some of you guys really want me to speak on it because I haven't been on YouTube much, but this is something I've been following, the POG beef. That's something I really want to speak on. I just saw more videos yesterday after I came back from work, a video that's, that was deleted that Vince put up about, you know, the welfare and all that stuff. I really want to make her a response video to that. You guys really, you guys really absolutely loved my big natty daddy response video. You guys really got the message. Some of you, and I didn't reply to a lot of you guys. Notice, the times I don't reply to a lot of you guys is when all of you guys are like talking to each other and debating in the comments. Once you guys are really talking to each other, I don't really reply because the comments just become so overwhelming. And I, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the guy who rather reply to everybody than to reply to some people. So if I can't reply to everybody, I don't really feel comfortable replying to only one or two people because I, I feel like other people will look at that and feel like they're neglected. So I neglect everybody. No, but for real though, you guys like my response videos. You guys like what I have to say. I'm not as stupid as some of you guys may think. So I will be putting up that response video soon. I'll, I'll try to do it ASAP. I just gotta make sure I get everything set in order. Right? Is there anything else? More videos, more reaction videos will be coming. Uh, workout tips and tricks videos, whatever you want to call those videos. More videos will be coming. Just give me some time to adjust to this new life. And again, I'd like to thank you guys for the support. I missed you guys. I'm sure you guys missed me too. Some of you guys probably already clicked off this video already because it's too long. Like, man, it's just Simon. It's just Simon. He's had a kid. Ah, you don't have to worry about him. But anyway, again, uh, I'm rambling on. The hat missed you guys too. And I'm about to go see my son. So, yeah. I'll talk to y'all next time. Yeah, daddy do these.